These are the top 20 albums of 2022 with seven bonus albums, so it's really the top 27. Watch the entire video because the top six are perfect five out of five records with not a single note out of place. Those perfect records will get their album cover flashed across the screen for your eyes to enjoy. They will be so titillating you won't be able to control yourself. Let's jump into the list. My 27th favorite album of 2022 is going to be Eddie Vedder's solo record. It is a, a solid solo effort from one of Rock's best frontmen. 26 is Bad Reputation by Kid Rock. And yes, he is the embodiment of cringe. Um, he put out another solid record though. If you can't tolerate a lot of KID, try Shake Down. Fresh Bars and a feature by Kid's Kid. It's, a, it's, it's the highlight of the record right there. All right, moving on to some better stuff. Number 25 goes to Bowling for Soup with Pop Drunk Snot Bread. And I just got what that title means. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so slow, but I'm trying. Okay, UL and DHC. Bowling for Soup are back for round 11, and they're still funny, goofy, and putting out pretty darn good pop punk records. 24 is Frank Turner's FTHC. Untainted Love and Fatherless pulled me deeper into uh, the fandom with this guy, and there's plenty to love in this dark theater of madness. Do not skip this record. Don't skip any, well, maybe a few songs you can skip, but it's, it's darn good. There's more pop punk that was just rocking this year with Love Sucks by Avril Lavigne. Half of these songs are perfect, and the other six are just fun. Number 22 is an interesting pick. Uh, the hierarchical, the hierarchical ecological secession. Welcome to the food chain by troglodytes. I'm unsure of how I heard about these guys, but I want to say thank you to Wikipedia for being my friends when I have no others. Thank you. This is a weird little album that picks a, it just it packs a zombie bite and a heaping dose of chuckles. Like this, do you guys know how to chuckle? <laughs> Number 21 is a rap album, King's Disease 3. This is a late addition to my list. I just recently heard this one, and Nas needs to keep the King's Disease series going because absolutely no features. Uh, he just carries the weight of this album completely by himself. He delivers an aggressive yet thoughtful album that's just one fresh breath after another. Oh, right now we're in the top 20. Those were kind of my seven honorable mentions, you know. But now, the number 20 album of the year, Hum by Unwritten Law. Who would have thought in 2022, Unwritten Law would be dropping their best album to date or absolutely killing it on a Fleetwood Mac cover? These guys have overcome some serious issues as a band, and um, they've just become all the more powerful because of it. They just keep getting better. Number 19 is Anthem by Flogging Molly. This one, uh, there's, there's four really great songs on here. This is my fifth favorite band of all time, so it's no surprise that the new Flogging Molly release made this cut. While Anthem doesn't reach the heights of previous albums like Within a Mile of Home. Ooh. This is a grand old good time, and I recommend this road of mine. 18th best album of the year goes to Demi Lovato, Holy F-Bomb, Batman. I went into Holy V-Bomb having never heard a single note by Demi Lovato. And 14 out of the 16 tracks are bangers. Where did this fire come from? This album rocks harder than most metal albums this year. Do not pass this one up. If you pass this one up, I don't like you. I didn't mean that. Uh, it, it, uh, don't pass this one up even if you hate pop music. It's, it's nice in a mean way, baby. 17, the unraveling of the pup band. Another artist I previously hadn't dealt with. And this is just a perfect pop, pop punk record uh, through and through, which is great considering we're only 17 albums into the list. It only gets better from here, but man, check out Pup. Good little Pup. 16, Hygiene by Drug Church. 
a band that sound like Blue October going full punk rock throttle. This is a unique experience with a raw, bloody feeling and not a single note that you want to miss. Freaking check these guys out now. They've got a lot to love. 15 goes to Rehab with their brand new album called Sandcast. Danny Boone has carried this project through a thousand lineup changes and over nine studio albums. While the physical copy put the nail in the coffin of physical media for me, the music within it was worth 20 bucks. Danny Boone spitting volcanoes rather than fire on a classic rap style rehab album. A little bit of jazz in the mix. It is Wildin'! It's wildin' and profiling. It's like Play-Doh in your, in your, in your, in your mailbox. It's like Play-Doh in your mailbox. It's like, yeah, it's like that. We didn't start the fire. We didn't start the arcade fire. Number 14, we, arcade fire. This album came um, at a really dark time in my life, and it helped me to deal with my grief. I stepped away from the Arcade Fire for many a years, but now I am back within the flames yet again. Burn me, please burn me. Lucky number 13, we gotta back the bleep up for this one, Crisis of Faith by Billy Talent. I just saw this on some worst lists this year, and my gosh, while the single I Beg to Differ can offer a lot of satisfaction, I don't skip the other 10 bangers here either. I mean, goosh, goosh, whoosh, magoosh, I gotta unbutt my shirt. I think though that this next one, I think critics and fans alike will be satisfied with my, my doesn't pick. Number 12, Fear of the Dawn by Jack White. Jack White is on a creative bender, but has he ever really been off of a creative bender? Fanciful stories of life, loss, and profound thinking carves out a new niche within rock music, and Jack White is the brains behind it all. I'm pale. Number 11, this is exciting. We are almost in my top 10. All right, Shinedown, Planet Zero. No amount of bad interludes can eclipse the muscular planetary songwriting holding this thing up. Stop calling Shinedown butt rock because this, this is just the classiest sounding pop rock record of the year. Daylight for the win. It's amazing what the hard times can reveal. Like who shows up, who drops the mic, and who's for real. I almost flipped you off there. Tenth best album of the year goes to Youngblood with an album called Youngblood. This is one of my favorite up-and-coming artists, but he's already arrived at the funeral and he's dancing on pop punks or pop music's coffin, baby. Youngblood, I want you to write the theme song for this channel. Call me waiting for you to arrive. This next artist has a little bit in common with Youngblood, but maybe is taken a little bit more seriously. Number nine freaking album of 2022, Emperor, Emperor by Ghost. A blistering fun and good time. This band keeps getting poppier and better at the same time, and I hope they sell out even more on the next album. Bring on the pop songs, the orchestras, you masked son of a... I think this next one makes me feel a little bit hipper than the rest of my list. Eve Six with Hyper Gibbla. With Hyper Gibbla. This one, you know, Eve Six have delivered something that simultaneously sounds like no thought was put into this and yet somehow overly thought out. It's such a flippant, I don't care attitude that it can't be an accident. Eve Six should 
an extra minute of fame. They should have 16 minutes of fame rather than 15. Gosh, poop it. There's a dark side and there's a lo-fi wasteland that helps modern culture. Um, it hates modern culture, yet it's part of it in the best kind of way. Redheads, am I right? Seven. Panic at the Disco. Viva la Vengeance. Middle of a breakup is the earwormiest beast, and it's gnawing a hole straight through my brain. I can't get it out of my head, and I don't want to, even if I could. And the rest album, the rest of the album is just that same level of 1970s rock and roll attitude that rivals Queen and Freddie Mercury. Gosh, poop. Number six. We're going a little bit heavier this time with The End So Far by the maggot entertaining Slipknot. How can some maggots call this a troll album? Desaad and Hive Mind, they're, they're like the best songs of the year. Uh, they're peak not. And Dying Song, it's the best not single since Wait and Bleed, you baby fly. Number five, Midnight Demon Club by Highly Suspect. Oof. I was a casual fan of Highly Suspect before this record. But after this journey into a smoky and evil carnival tent, not unlike a Joker card from the Insane Clown Posse, I became a hardcore fan. This, this is a band that has volumes to say, both in um, man sonic voices and riffage of Johnny Stevens' voice. Not a single musical misstep on this entire ambitious and biting project. Listen to the entire album on repeat forever ad nauseum. Hey, my number four actually got on physical media. RHCP with unlimited love. I, I hope that didn't damage it. I, it probably broke my guitar. I've been breaking guitars. I was so looking forward to a third record by the Klinghoffer Chili Peppers, but the band reunited with Frusciante and created a ton of songs in a short period of time. Tracks like Heavy Wing and Great Apes show that 40 years ain't a darn thing to the Peppers, who seemingly only get better with time. They're not rotting on the vine. This is like Stadium Arcadium continued and amplified into another dimension. I actually have my third uh, third album of the year as well. Coming at number three is, can oh. oh my God. Oxy Music by Alex Cameron. For me, music is all about emotion, and Alex Cameron is just, he writes songs not with notes and words, but with pure and unfiltered feelings. Uh, this is some of the most damaged and insane songwriting that exists on the planet. And um, this guy is doing some horrific stuff and feeling uh, pretty big about it. Uh, even with his words, when they get almost too personal and weird, you can still relate to the man and the motive behind them. This record stabs me in my eyeballs. I think I'm gonna have to do it just to get views. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab my eyeball out with the corner of this record. Let Alex Cameron scoop out your eyeballs out of your head right now. You will not regret the pain that comes with it. God, please. Number two album of 2022. This is the back of it. This is the front. We got Southern Circus by Four and the Strange Band. We've talked about Four and the Strange Band a great deal here on the channel. Their sound is uniquely uh, and wholly original, and they just blindsided the world both with music and their existence. I can't say enough about how much Coleman slash four leads this band in some of the most creative musical territory that I've heard on a record. Whether you like country, rock, punk, metal, or any other form of music, there's something for you here. Check these guys out in concert. You'll absolutely have a wonderful night. Domo arigato, Mr. Caveman. 
this is it guys the very best album of 2022 cave world by the v boys when i stumbled upon this goofy uh, song called sports some years ago i had this strange sensation running through my body kind of like microchips flowing through my body man i'm really cool man from microwaving batteries to squirrel aside and saxophone solos from the most agonizing pits of heck this album is just it touches me man it's funny it's angry it's musically agitated and produced in a different way than the musicians originally intended which is kind of cool this is a record that you have to hear to believe it does interludes right it does songs even better while the entire thing is a wondrous freak of nature you need to freaking stop living your life and go listen to cognitive trade off hypothesis there's a live shrimp version on youtube that just came out return to monk this is the future of monkey 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 please like subscribe and check out my other 3000 videos thank you